Dublin's Sean Sapolanti, Richard Kilty, Joe Morris, and uh, Julian Forty make up the lineup. I mentioned Mike Rogers, and he has been having a great battle with Kim Collins indoors this season, but it was just a little bit off his best in his heat. But at his best, he could certainly push Collins. And I'm sure that this is the man that Collins will be most worried about. But Adam Jamili, a, a smile, a grin, never far from his face. And such a great 200 meter man as well. 60, I think, perhaps, is, is always going to be the most difficult of the sprints for him. Phil Kimmins, not so. He's a great starter. First name's actually David. There's a random fact for you. She probably didn't want. He was part of that really team that it ultimately lost its medal when Tyson Gay admitted to doping. Kim Collins turns 40 at the start of April. Let's ignore his age. We're not going to mention his age again because he's just a, a great nurse. Ran 6.51 in his heat. Only a Asafa Powell uh, has run quicker in the world this year. He did win the world title 13 years ago over 100 metres. Sean Sapuantwe is flying in this indoor season. 6.59 and his heat has talked about the great winter he's had training and the difference it's making. What you put in, you get out, he says. 6.59, the same time that uh, Richard Kilty has managed this season. Just to stress, the defending champion doesn't get to go to the World Indoors as of right. Kilty still has to earn his place, but I think every chance that uh, these two men, Sean Sapuanti and uh, Richard Kilty, will be the two men representing Great Britain. Others will have a say, of course. Joe Morris of the United States goes in lane seven. And Julian Forty finished very well in his heat, the Jamaican, to take his place in this final. So Julian Fort on the outside, Joe Morris in seven, Richard Kilty inside him. Sean Safwant, he goes in five. Kim Collins, strong favourite in lane four. Trell Kimmins in three. Adam Jamili goes in lane two. Mike Rogers in one. So those three men there, fascinating. Collins and the two Britons, Sean Safwant and Richard Kilty. But look out for Mike Rogers, also in lane one. I'm sure he's got better to offer than he managed in his heat. The final of the men's 60 metres. Collins away beautifully. Kimmins two alongside of Sean Sapuantui. Going very well indeed. Kilty trying to get back there. Oh, and Kim Collins has gone. And Sean Sapuantui takes the win. And his wonderful indoor season just keeps on giving. 6.56 is the time. The quickest he's managed this season, and it brings him victory. What happened to Kim Collins, but not something for Sean Sapuantui to worry about. 6.56 and the victory. What a great victory. Incredible, incredible performance. He kept his head, kept a cool head, which managed to haul himself through and take that. But I think everybody we're going to look at Kim Collins to see exactly what happened. He got out of the blocks well, Kim, but then he pulled up quite early in the race. You'll see him grimace a little bit, and you can see now he's getting his treatment. He'd be very disappointed with that because he was running so well. Completely different isn't it compared to Richard Kilty who would be very pleased with that season's best I mean ultimately it, at the end it was a 1-2 for, for Great Britain it didn't seem to be playing out that way here but Collins goes and then Sean Sapuant is so strong Richard Kilty finishing beautifully it was a really great performance from our two British boys they did exactly what they needed to do work hard kept with it and took the victory brilliant stuff but let's have a look at Kim Collins he's the right of the screen he pushes out really well but watch I think you'll see him grimace quite early in this his calf may go to about 30 or 40 meters. It's about now, about that. You see his shoulders gone a little bit further back, and he's grimacing a lot there as he comes towards the line. He'd be really upset because he was, as I said, flying in the qualifying rounds. Now, the, the contrast in qualifying where he was so smooth and controlled and looked at ease. So he goes here, but Sean Safwant, who was there for the victory ahead of Richard Kilty, and for. Uh,